Yo, y'all got me feeling some kind of emotional way. Man, last night was, uh, I don't really know how to say it. I don't really know how to, like, put it into words. It was very, very, very emotional uh, for me walking back into those hallways of the Grand Ole Opry and, and walking back onto that stage. Uh, I know a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all, listen, a lot of y'all are new. Instagram. So if you are, then you can just skip through this. But for for those of y'all that have been around for any type of any type of uh, length, man, I really and truly about 16 months ago, I really was going to end my life. I I don't say that for any other. I remember I remember specifically this story. I was in rehab in out in the desert in Arizona, and I was so sad, dude. I was so sad, and I was I was full of so much shame and and. Uh, I remember the therapist, Jackie, sweetheart of a lady. Uh, I was just so, I didn't want to, you know, participate in the recovery process or try to get better or, or anything. And she was just kind of like, what do you want to do, John? What do you want to do here? I go, I remember I remember saying this specifically. I go, I want to go home and I want to withdraw all of my money from the bank. And then I want to go down to Broadway. Broadway is where all like the bars are. I want to go down to Broadway get drunk and then I want to bring girls back to my condo and I want to do that every night until I run out of money and then I want to kill myself I mean it's wild to even think about it because I was I was I only say this I think because there's a lot of people that I I really this is hard for you to believe about me but if I thought that about myself anyone can think it about themselves is I thought I believed something about myself that was untrue. I believe that this world would be better off with me not in it. And a lot of you guys that have followed me for any amount of time were like, they were like, that's ridiculous, John. We love your, we love your videos. We, we possibly think that, but I, it's like, I believed something that was untrue about myself. And, and I look back, this is a long Instagram story. Shoot. I look back on everything that happened. I look back on just the whole situation and everything and, 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 and a lot, not a lot, mo all of the consequences and, and were, were because of my own horrific choices. And, and, and I look you guys in the eye and own that and take responsibility for that any day of the week. Um, but it, the only thing worse than what I, I wouldn't wish what happened to me on my worst enemy. I look you in the eye and tell that for true, Let's tell that for true. But the only thing worse, the only thing worse, I, 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 I'm honest with you when I say this, the only thing worse than what happened to me is if it would have never happened to me. I wouldn't say happened to me, but I, a lot of the choices that I made were, were uh, but if that would have never happened, I would have, I would have continued the rest of my life trying to earn y'all's approval on the internet and hoping that you guys would love me. And then I, it's weird because if that would have never happened to me, I would have just continued on the road of being a trash dude. I wasn't trash, but like, and I would have ended up the end of my life alone and sad and wondering why and, and hoping that the people on the internet would find me funny or relevant or whatever. And like, I'm probably, I still make tons of horrific choices and I don't want to ever set myself up to get, to be some kind of role model or anything. Um, uh, I'm just coming up on 17 months sober in next week, which is, I mean, if you don't believe in miracles, man, just, just come my way. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you several, bro. Not even like that, even a, a, like letting anyone know about like my sobriety or anything like that even makes me nervous because like, I, then what if I go back to like drinking again? Then am I crushed again? Am I canceled again? What if I, I have a girl over to my apartment? Um, somebody sees me, I'm canceled, recanceled again. I go, D I don't, I don't ever want to put myself up on the, like, it, you know, that I don't know if it's a Bible verse or like a, you were just like, if, if you're call if anyone's calling anyone a sinner, call me chief among them. Honestly, that I don't know if, that, I don't know if that's a Bible verse or like an Eric church song or maybe both, but like, dude, I, I don't, 
I still got all kind of struggles and things that I work through on the daily, but I'm just not, I only say this to you guys because I'm not sad anymore. I'm not, I just wanted to, I was so, if you go back in my photos, like my tag photos of the old tours, like two years ago, like my eyes look dead, dude. I look like I'm not in there, bro. Anyway, all that to say, just walking back into those hallways last night, I was like, man, if I could, it, there, I know there's a lot of people that are fighting for their lives, man, with, 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 with depression and, and addiction and uh, uh, loneliness and all. I'm telling you, all I wanted to know, all I wanted to know when I was in the darkest places is that I wasn't alone. That's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to know is that I wasn't alone. And I don't know. You guys have just shown me a love that I never never experienced in my life and I, and if I can do anything for to to pass that along to someone else I mean my goodness I <laughs> it's re- it's hard to like articulate I think because I was in, when I was in rehab for like f- 4 months and I got out I never forget this I got out and I was like I don't even want to show my face around town or and I remember going out and people everybody just being like John and I was like, oh no, these people are gonna think I'm a bad influencer, their kids, or a bad Christian, or uh, not a good role model. And they, every, every, everybody, dude, was just like, we just want to let you know that we love you, and we want to let you know that we care about you. And I was like, what? I was like, but do y'all know? Do y'all like? If you looked me up, you read about me, you know that I made a lot of horrible choices. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it. We just want to let you know that we care about you, and we've been. I was like, what? It was so. Does that make sense? If like you grew up like as a Christian or like in very religious setting, like that's not the me- I maybe unconsciously I, I received a message that was the opposite of that. But everybody was like, "Dude, we care about you, man." And I was like, "What, dude? What?" Anyway, sorry. I'll get back to making the jokes on Monday. But I, I just like in a lot of ways, less not mostly my family and, and loved ones around me that were close to me and my friends. But in a lot of ways, y'all kept me. I don't want to exaggerate this in any in some type of way kept me alive man you kept me on earth with your prayers and your 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 letters and your love and and I and I would I would regret if I didn't stay on the path to rec- and try to do the same for y'all I don't or not I don't know we don't have a personal relationship but but I don't know I got some kind of hope man and I want to just pass it along to you that's it all right sorry okay